Hi guys, Dan the Mountain Man here. And today we're going to be doing easy pesto pinwheels for your next party. So what you're going to need here is I'm going to make 40 so you can just add this, take this in half if you want to make the 20. So uh, we got uh, two uh, croissant, um, croissant rolls these have seams in them because I got them for something else but you know, decided on doing this but, uh, you can get uh, seamless ones work uh, probably work as good um, and then you want to get a jar of uh, the pesto from the store or you can make some yourself uh, but uh, alright and then uh, we're going to want uh, the uh, roasted red bell peppers and what you're going to do with these you're going to need a half a cup of each of the pesto in this but you're going to need to chop up the uh, um, red peppers so we're going to go ahead put this together and enjoy so here we go guys Okay guys, well I got this going and I do have the oven preheating to 350 which is what they recommend on uh, the uh, uh, cans here. So what we're going to do, so I already got the uh, presto served out here. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to work on chopping some of these red peppers up so we'll get these out all right well we're gonna just chop these bell peppers up here you know nice small just kind of get them into the thing It's real small like that, so you can see they're kind of more of a dice. So, and when we get a half a cup, we will move on to the next step here. So, let me finish the, this up and then we'll uh, finish go to the next step. Okay, guys, now that we got the hard step taken care of of the peppers, as you can see, I got those chopped up. All right, the right size. We got our pesto. Now we're going to uh, just open this up. You just uh, take it and peel it. Then you just take a spoon. Find the seam, and it'll pop right open, and just roll it out of here. Okay, so let's see if I can get this peeled off. Well, you want to get the well, this will work. We're just gonna oh. take these guys. And we'll just smush the seams together in that little broke spot. So if you don't have the seamless, you can get seamless ones of these. You can find those and be even better. So 
I'm just going to lightly push the seams together here. Okay. Now, we got this uh, ready to go. Now I'm going to need this a little knife here for action later. It won't matter too much, but if it leaks a little bit, it'll just make it better. So what we're going to do is just take the pesto, and you just kind of want to spread it to where it's about a half an inch to the edges. Kind of spread it on there, and then just... garlic and uh, basil that this is I believe if um, it serves me correctly I haven't actually made pesto myself but I should try it someday let me just get it okay, and just spread it on here Too much on on here, but there we go. About to a half an inch to the edges. Okay. Next, we just take the roasted bell peppers and spread those all on there. Just kind of spread evenly as much as you can. You can always do some more if you want to. So the next thing we're going to do is just roll these up. Okay, now we're going to uh, roughly lightly mark it with the knife before we cut it. Uh, well, about even, but it's going to be a little off. We're going to cut them and put it on the thing. Well, that put on the. See, as we get it on here, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it on the thing. So, ain't quite exactly. Not really using the best of knives, I guess, for this. And, but oop, and it's falling apart. But yeah, let me see if I can get a better knife here. All right, we'll try this one. Probably won't work any good either. <laughs> no, 
it's falling apart. <laughs> no, <Nope>. yeah. <laughs> All right, well then. Okay. We'll just go back to this. All right, we'll just kind of salvage what we can out of it. <laughs> it's part of cooking. Some of these are turning out good. The other ones are kind of falling apart, so. We'll just ain't quite turning out <laughs> as I'd hoped, but Put it on there. All right. We'll go ahead, put this in the oven for uh, 13 to 17 minutes, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, well guys, I'll see you in 13, 17 minutes and we'll see how those turn out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one here. Okay guys, as you can see, these are done. I mean, the ones that are really messed up turned out to look all right. So just goes to prove you don't need to be perfect about it every time. So what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead We'll put these on a plate to uh, so when you put it on the party, it'll see any of that little messed up one there. You see that one right there? These two are the messed up ones, they still look pretty good. So, we're gonna put these on a pound them on a plate like you would at the party. And I got another batch of these cooking, and they kind of turned out a little bit better. All right, I'm one of my rambunctious kittens playing around here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get that going. So, all right, so here we go, guys. Look at that nice little plate. Well, I'm just gonna set that there. All right, so. Here we go. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take a, uh, a little sample here. So here we go. Hmm. All right. This is really good, guys. So as you see, very simple, a um, little easy. Uh, easy um, pesto pinwheels for your next party. So there's just three ingredients. You get your canned uh, um, croissant rolls. If you can find the seamless ones, that would be your best bet. Um, a little less hassle. And uh, to help you cut a little bit, of course having a sharp knife, my knives are not the sharpest. Um, but it can still be done. Um, you can also, what, when you roll them, you can put them in the refrigerator or the freezer for just a few minutes to um, firm them up. And that'll make it a little easier to cut. Um, so, and you want to have the oven preheated. The can says 350, and you cook these for 17 minutes. And these turned out great. So, well, 
I'm going to finish eating these. You guys enjoy the day that the Lord has given you. And, uh, well, guys, um, if, just, if you like this video, give me a like. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to catch other cooking videos like this. I try to get one out on Saturday. I don't always make it, but I try to. Also, I do some taste test videos as well and some sightseeing and adventure videos. So, guys, I'll see you next time on the next video. I'm going to finish eating this up. <laughs>